So I'm Kim Coleman. I wish we could start the intermission now so you wouldn't have to listen to me because they are so funny and they were much funnier. Good job, Zach and Mark. Okay, so um, I'm ready. A better place. Most of us here want a better place. That's why we're here for Ignite Lincoln. One of the ingredients I've found to be very important for a better place is community. Community is uh, something we used to have more naturally in our, in, our, in our society because we just needed it. We needed uh, each other for survival. This is the barn raising. It took a, a whole village to raise a barn. We didn't have power tools, so community was much more natural in our, in our past. Um, this is just a bunch of people. It's not necessarily community. It might be, it might not be. Being together with a bunch of people isn't necessarily community. Community is a connectedness, a unity of purpose, um, engaging with each other. It's a different Just being a stick and being in a tree. Being a branch in a tree is community. That's when we're connected to something larger, a, a bigger life than what we have individually. So that's what I think of as community. John Veneer is an um, author who wrote Community and Growth, and he describes it as being connected to all of the universe, to the earth, to the air, to water, to all humanity, and he describes loneliness as a taste of death. So how do we avoid death by loneliness? Well, it starts by recognizing that each individual person is, um, connects us to a larger life, to the divine. Everyone is called to manifest a particle of the glory of God. It begins when we just see that in each other. Namaste is a Hindi greeting, and it, um, one meaning is that the divine within me perceives and adores the divine in you. That's the beginning to connecting with people, is just recognizing that we do connect each other to a larger life, to, to the divine. Where does it start? Family starts at home. That's a good place. That's my family. They're cool. Um, Mother Teresa said when she received the Nobel Prize, they asked her, how do you promote world peace? She said, go home and love your family. Starts with our family, then it moves out into our neighborhoods, into our cities, into the environment. The author of a book called um, No Impact Man, he thinks that the lack of community has contributed to our environmental problems. He said there's not a connectedness to a larger entity, to something to which we owe our care. So uh, environmental problems can come from lack of community. What things diminish community? Materialism, our own individual quest for more things. Um, Veneer also said that our materialism diminishes our sense of community. It diminishes our compassion. He says we get small houses and jealously guard our goods with a sign that says beware of the dog. So materialism, fear, fear of others, fear of others in different political parties or different, from different backgrounds, that diminishes our ability to create community. Often the, the communities which are the poorest have the most um, love and connection. So again, materialism and fear diminishes our sense of community. Just today's paper had a quote from Congresswoman Giffords prior to the shooting and she said we don't talk to our neighbors enough. We don't have enough front porches and we need to have more open dialogue. Fear, materialism, diminished community. Ego, ego, our own self-centeredness, being, being egocentric, thinking that we are the center of the universe diminishes our sense of community. Also, I want to remember for Superman that my family says my superpower is talking. I wish it was flying, but we should all cultivate a superpower of listening because listening is where it starts. When we hear each other's heart, when we hear each other's story, that's where we start to grow, um, start to cultivate our community. Mother Teresa also said that to be unloved, unwanted, forgotten by everyone was the greatest poverty. Uh, it was a greater poverty and greater hunger than having nothing to eat. So if you're lonely, look for community, especially look in the marginalized groups in our, in our society. Volunteer, serve, um, come to the table. We have, uh, we have inclusive dining at Indigo Bridge Books. We have, we have bread from Bread and Cup, we have soup from Take Up, and we have community dining with you guys. Um, if you have community, 
build it, appreciate it, expand it, um, be inclusive, be inclusive. Your, your life will be richer, more meaningful uh, with community. Everything gets better. Your sense of peace, joy, love, adventure gets better. And everything bad, your sense of fear, grief, sadness, diminishes with community. So with that, I say namaste. That's a really great way to close off our, uh, our first half of this, uh, of this night um, because that's really what this is all about. It's all about making Lincoln a better place and that's why we're here. So we're going to take a 10 minute break.